All right, so now what we're gonna do in this lesson is we're gonna try putting text on a path. So I'm gonna collapse this layer and then I'm actually gonna hide this layer. Um, with text on a path, it tends to work better with just a single line of text. So I'm gonna grab my text tool again and we'll type out text on path for a text on a path. So first thing we need to do for our text on a path, once we get our text in here, is we have to create a path for it. To create a path for it, we're going to use our pen tool. So grab your pen tool. Make sure that your layer is selected. It should be highlighted down here in your layer panel. And you should see these dots along the side. And then with your pen tool, just draw kind of a rough path. Um, you can add your curves in right away. Once you have your path created, we can adhere our text to it. To do that, you're going to go into your text properties and go into the text section and where it says path options, you'll find path. You want to assign that to be, it'll be called mask one, which will be the um, pen tool path you just created. As soon as you select that, your text will adhere to the path and then it'll give you the properties that have to deal with text on the path. Let me just roughly go through what these do real quick. And we're going to start with this one right here, the first margin. This is the most usable one within here. So what first margin does is it actually lets you move your text along the path. Um, right now I have centered text. Let me go ahead and switch it to left align. And that way it makes the first margin make a little more sense. So what that's doing is it's moving this point right here. And I'm going to switch back to my selection tool. And you can actually physically move this on the screen as well. And by moving this around, you know, you're increasing or decreasing the first margin. It's basically just pushing the text along this path. Below first margin is the last margin option. And when you first try to do stuff with this, nothing's going to happen. Um, that's because we don't have a last margin established yet. You actually need to um, enable this property for a last margin to show up. It's force alignment. What it's going to do is it's going to force the end of your text to stretch out to the last point in your path. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And we'll see that it actually stretches all the way out. And then we get this new indicator. And this is going to be called our last margin right here. That will actually let you squash and stretch your text along the path, sort of like if you're doing tracking with the path. Once again, though, if you don't have that enabled, you won't actually see anything happen with last margin. It won't affect anything. The other two uh, properties allow you to turn on or off perpendicular to path, uh, which will, um, if it's on, it's going to make your text bend with your path. If you take it off, then it makes your text upright. Uh, sometimes it's actually helpful to turn it off because it helps readability a little bit because your text isn't going in weird directions, but it just depends on how complicated your path is. The other option is reverse path, which is very helpful if you had if you're more of a person who likes to start at the right side and work to the left and you want to move it still from left to right. You turn it on and it'll flip your text around backwards. Okay. So try out the different properties. Um, mostly we, what you would probably be using this for is your first margin, um, maybe your last margin if you want to do, have your text expand and contract a little bit.